um, was born and raised in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which was sort of a product of my grandfather moving there. Um, and I left when I was 18 to come to New York, and I studied uh, design and illustration at School of Visual Arts. And I got out of the school, and I just immediately started um, working as a freelance designer, but more oftentimes just involved with my own artistic practice. So a fine art practice of, of painting and drawing and, and showing and selling my work. And I mostly work for my what I what I like to do. I'm I'm recently been making more paintings than anything else, um, and I work. Uh, alongside doing that, I also work for um, my family company, which is basically um, all for clients. You know, we're working collaboratively with um, different people to, like Herman Miller and Mahan, to create these these reproductions. And I think that that is very different. Yeah, and it's working with the heritage. It's working with a guideline. You know, for me, it's very much about how do we get it as close to the original vision of, that he had. And in my own work, I really like to have that freedom of not having any rules or anything to adhere to or anything to necessarily have to directly reproduce. So it's a much freer, uh, freer experience. I, I mean, I like doing both, um, but. I'm, I'm at home in my studio when I'm making things that don't have any direct reference to anything really. Yeah. I didn't know that I was going to be doing what I'm doing now. Um, I sort of, I sort of always, I kind of always felt like my grandfather would have wanted me to, at all costs, continue to create my own work rather than just to look after his legacy you know I mean I think both my grandmother and grandfather would have been happy that the family is is stewarding the work but I think that also not at the cost of like not doing your own work or you know expressing your own ideas so I feel lucky that that that's up until now still been possible yeah. I love you know, I love working in sculpture almost as much as I love painting, but I think that I would say that drawing is where I started, and I would imagine that drawing is where I start most projects anyway. Even if I'm going to make a sculpture, I usually think it through with drawing, and so to me, drawing is kind of the ultimate, you know, practice. I think it's really unfortunate. I think it's really, really a major loss for the world in general. I think it's why you see so much derivative work, because I think the way you find new ideas is by sketching ideas. I don't think you find ideas from, you know, working them out digitally. It just it doesn't happen the same way. Like, it's not, a fl the line can't move in that sort of spontaneous way to create that new, form that had never been seen before when you're working within a bitmap, you know, it just doesn't happen like that. So I think it's really unfortunate that that's happened.